Hey everyone, it's me, Dirty Honey. So, right now, um, I was thinking about the fountain of youth. This is a thing, like a, a myth or something, I don't know what you'd call it, fairy tale or some shit, that I think most people know about. I'm pretty sure it's a common... Um, you know, myth or whatever. I don't know what to call that. A common myth. <laughs> or like a what if, I guess. And so, the, the Fountain of the Youth thing kind of got me thinking. And I'm like, so maybe what if a long time ago, way long time ago, freaking million years or whatever, I don't know how far back people are supposed to have entered the planet, depending on what religion you are and how scientific and shit you are, you probably have a different opinion on that. But whenever it was, a long ass time ago, we're going to call it a long ass time ago. Back a long ass time ago, um, maybe people were like wandering around, like let's just imagine you're there a long ass time ago and you're wandering around, do do do, I'm in, on earth, wandering this open, freaking kick-ass place, like a caveman and shit, and all of a sudden, I find this, this, like, fountain, or let's call it a flower, the flower of youth, and I find this flower, and I'm like, wow, this thing is just captivating, I can't stop looking at it, it's like the most amazing looking flower I've ever fucking seen, dude, and you pick it up, and when you pick it up, you just filled with this like energy or something and you just you know you want to eat it right or maybe that's just what people did back then like you know you're a caveman what the fuck this flower is like amazing it's drawing my attention i wonder what it tastes like maybe i'm gonna trip balls on this shit and cavemen like that and so um you eat it and all of a sudden as soon as you eat this thing boosh you're just filled with godlike ability and like energy and fucking knowledge and all this just badass superpower type feeling shit, right? Like, oh, dude, what the fuck? And there's a whole plant of this flower. Like, there's this whole bush, and you just pluck one of those flowers up, and all of a sudden, you are just filled. Like, you know, oh, like everything just fills your brain. You're just like a fucking superhero all of a sudden. You turned into Superman and shit. And so you're like, wow, this is fucking amazing. Dude, <clears throat> this flower is like the fountain of youth or something. It's made me invincible, kind of. Now, if you had found that flower, what would you do with it? Would you go and tell everybody, dude, I found this flower and it's going to make me live forever and it gives me superpowers and I'm like fucking king of the world with this shit. Right? Um, or would you not tell anybody and just kind of like be the king of the world all by yourself and not let anybody else know and you're just like yeah, yeah, you know king of the fucking world I don't know how that happened <laughs> and just you know I'm fucking badass dude so I made it up here this way and take all the credit that the flower gave you right would you do that and use it kind of like you know fuck this dude I don't want everybody to have it because if everybody has it then everyone's gonna live forever and everyone has superpowers and now we're all the same again kind of like, um, I think Dr. Seuss did a book about that called The the Sneeps or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but everybody had something on their shirt, and then everyone wanted it, and then as soon as everybody got that thing on their shirt, nobody wanted it, and they kept going back and forth, and this guy who introduced the whole thing just made a ton of money on everybody's dumb ass. So, life's like that, dude. I love Dr. Seuss. This guy's a genius. Anyways, uh... So if you had found this flower of youth and you're, I mean, you're, you're now put, you know, put in this position of having the whole world at the fingertips and not telling anybody or sharing it with the world and letting everybody enjoy this amazing thing, which, you know, I don't know how you feel about how everybody would feel about that. Or maybe, let's say, you told some people, and they told some people, and it grew to a point where everyone was like, whoa, dude, we need to have a meeting of the freaking, 
you know, the, the live long people who have found this flower and, and like, let's, let's cut this shit out, dude. We don't want everyone to do it. Now there's, you know, let's say time went by and here we are today in 2020, whatever the fuck it is. And now those, you know, 100, 150 people who have found the flower of youth are still here on earth, living forever, running the world. And they can do whatever the fuck they want. And they're just, you know, using giant entities like countries and businesses and religion and stuff like that to, to try and dominate the world uh, over the other people who have eaten the flower of youth and are also living forever because of it or something. That's possible, maybe. Nah, fuck that. That would never happen. You're crazy, dude. That wouldn't happen. But all kinds of different scenarios could possibly happen if there was a flower of youth or fountain, whatever. The flower's easier because, you know, you can carry it around and, shit and move it around the world instead of just having it be in one location. But if it was a fountain, then potentially what would happen is people would be like, fuck this, this is my fucking fountain, I'm buying this land or protecting it or whatever, building Fort Knox around it and Fort Knox. Or, you know, a fucking pyramid or a sphinx or whatever kind of other mystical shit is out there. Maybe just some dumbass cactus in the middle of nowhere and nobody's looking there. Everyone's like, oh, it's under the fucking Sphinx or the fucking pyramid or, or, or whatever, the Statue of Liberty and shit. And really, it's just under a, somebody's bush in their front yard. <laughs> I don't know, man, if there even is a flower of youth or a fountain of youth or whatever of youth, dude. Who knows? But if there was one... The question is, would the person who found it share it with everybody else or keep that power for themselves and just be like one of the Avengers or something? Maybe the Avengers actually exist and that's how it happened or some kind of little, you know, mediocre form of the Avengers. Maybe the writers of the Avengers story are actually those types and they're just fucking with us. Did you do that, dude? That's pretty clever, Avenger people, Marvel Comics or whoever the fuck did it up, bro. You really tricked us. And we still don't know it. Anyways, whatever. I don't know if that's true. If there is a fountain of youth and one of you guys found it, fucking be cool, bro. Look, Hook me up with that shit. I'm dirty honey. I mean, fuck. Maybe I should live forever, dude. So, hook me up with that flower if anyone's got it. Alright, dude? Or the fountain. Tell me where that shit's at. Send me a jar of it. Yeah, I wonder if you could bottle it. Damn. Alright, anyways. Whatever. This video's running long. So, my name is Dirty Honey. And I was just talking about the fountain of youth, you know, and whether or not it's true, and probably not. But make sure you like and subscribe. Spam the shit out of this. Finger the like button. Watch the video all the way to the end. Because you never know what I'm going to say at the end. And uh, that's it, dude. Watch. Oh, be nice. That's what I always say at the end. What the fuck? I almost forgot to say that shit. That's what everything's about, you guys. Be nice. Everyone needs to do that in the world. will be a way better place. Fuck the flower of youth. Just be nice. Maybe the bees who pollinate the flower of youth, those bees are the fucking nicest bees ever, dude. So pollinate. Be nice like those bees. Okay? and eat their honey. Ooh, all right, I'm going. I'm going to span out into that if I do, if I start talking about it. So, be nice. 91.5 KUSC, the best music on the planet. And that's it, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.